Hey guys, welcome to One Day, One Mother. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours. Today, I just, you know, I was sitting and, and I thought about so many things. And I said, you know what, I think I should do this video. And the topic that I want to discuss today is what it means for me to love Cynthia. The reason I'm bringing this out again is following my experience in life and especially when my daughter Cynthia passed away. We do love our family. My mother passed away almost 17 years ago. My sister passed away, I think 16 years ago. It hurts. It was painful. But I'm here to tell you If it's your child, it's different. The pain, it's unbearable. You don't want to, to be around. Sometimes you feel like not talking to anyone. You get angry. You keep being sad. And yes, currently, I am going through therapy. We should never let that go. I am loving my child who is dead because that's my baby. She was a beautiful young lady, a beautiful soul. She was kind. She was funny. She was intelligent. She was friendly. She was a leader. She was my mentor, even though she was my daughter. She was my mentor. She was my confidant. I, I regret. I recall it so many times that I'll pick up the phone and I'll call her and say, Mommy, I always call, I call my daughters, Mommy, Mom. And it's so funny that I, I had three daughters. I still have. Currently now I have two surviving daughters. But it's, it's, it's funny that when the three of them are sitting together, when I said, Mom, for some reason, they know who is mom. When I said mom, the person who believes that's, I'm, I'm, it's like, they know, okay, it's me, mom is calling. So I use the word mom, mommy. Mom, I love my dead daughter, Cynthia, for so many reasons that I cannot even count. I cannot even lay them down. Wow. Sometimes people will tell you, let it go. I recall somebody told me, you cry too much. I can't stand it anymore. You just got to let it go. She's in a better place. I am not annoyed, I'm not mad, but I'm just here to let others know because sometimes we do say things to parents who are grieving, thinking we're there to support them, we're there to tell them something that will make them happy. 
what I've realized is that we should not be telling someone who is going through a loss of a child that that child is in, is in a better place. The better place for me right now, I wish Cynthia was sitting here with me. I wish we were doing things that we were supposed to do. I wish we were we were going somewhere when the kitchen cooking. I wish she was at work and I'm calling her as usual. She would tell me, she would text me, I'm at work. Oh, I'm driving. She never picks up her phone when she was driving. So don't tell me she's in a better place. Let me think that. Let me, let me presume that mentally that she's in a better place. Because I know the pain and other mothers out there who've lost a child, they know that pain. The reason I love my dead daughter Cynthia, she was a gift, a gift from God. God gave her to me. She was a precious gift. And inside my heart, she's still a precious gift. The reason I loved her is the good memories. good memories and memories is not for us to to just give financial assistance to our children it's doing things together taking them places we travel a lot the times that I sit and I go through my photos and I I see photos that we did, I see videos, and I smile. Those are good memories. That's the reason I still love and I'll keep on loving my dead child, Cynthia. We shared secrets. <laughs> I recall when things are hard, I'll pick up the phone, I'll call her and say, Mommy, this is what I'm going to, what do you think? Give me an idea. Then she'll tell me, okay, let me think about it, we're going to discuss. She always wanted Mommy to look good. <laughs> she made sure I ate good. She made sure I exercised every day. She made sure I always take my medication on time. She made sure she took some of the, the, the let's say, project or worries that I had from me. Since it was someone who took good care of her siblings. She would call the brother and said, hey, I'm sending you an email. I need you to tell me about your classes. I need you to tell me when was the last time you met with your counselor, your plans, your goal. She did the same with the sisters. And I am very grateful to God Because he's still allowing me to have that love of my daughter. She's not here with me, but here, here she is. I am not the first mother, nor would I be the last mother to ever lose a child. 
we all face it in different ways. Never judge a mother for how she's grieving. So, I don't want this video to be, oh, why is she putting that out? Please bear with me. I'm helping myself and I'm helping another mother out there. The reason I love my dead child, Cynthia, is because she's my baby. Someone would tell me, oh, Debbie, stop. It's three and a half years ago that Cynthia passed away. To me, it's like a second ago that she passed away. It hurts. But I'm grateful that I'm sitting here. I'm talking to strangers. Sometimes I, I think about mothers or parents who have lost a child. Some have lost all of their children. And I hold back, I said, okay, this mother have lost four kids at the same time. I've lost one. I try as much as possible to consult myself, but still it's hard. And I can only imagine what other mothers are going through. It's a journey, but God is wonderful. I asked myself, why do I want to talk about this today? I want to talk about it because it's something that is deep inside me. I appreciate all of the help again. I appreciate everyone who reached out to me. I appreciate everyone who has been there and always been here with me. But please forgive me if some days you see me sad. It's hard sometimes to control the pain. It's a walking process and I know I'll keep on being strong. Please subscribe, comment. I would like to hear how you did it. I would like to hear how someone that you knew, how they cope or how they coping with this. I would like to hear comments of why you as a mother, you as a father, you're still loving your child who passed away so many years ago. Please bring in those comments, put it down, subscribe, hit that notification button for more videos. I have a lot. My story, I'm ready to share. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours.